You're welcome to another episode of Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. It's your show. It's our show. I'm sure you've been enjoying this show all the while. Thank you very much. Please, we don't mind your comments in the comment box. Encourage us now. Have you going to think so? Well, we are here again today with another guest. And I'm sure you want to know who this guest is. Now, let's move to action. Action! forward Miss Sandra Effiong. Right, I'm Adiola Adetoye. I'm a physical therapist, a drama minister, lover of children. Um, I love to write. I write a lot, to write out thoughts and um, imagine things and put them into paper. And um, I love to be with children. Um, I love listening um, more than talking. Yes, and um, generally, they are um, okay. I love to dance. Um, most, of, most people don't know that about me, but I love to dance. I dance alone in my room in front of the mirror <laughs> and in church, basically. Yes. Then I love to be with the teenagers, young people, listen to them. They make me feel like one too. Then I always feel that there are a lot of things in their hearts they would want to share, and I'm always ready to listen. So um, I have a platform for them, teenagers, um, Teens World Show. Then with time, I shifted it to more of an outreach, Teens World Outreach. So that would give me an opportunity to listen to them, to hear them out, and them um, to encourage and to advise them. So that's what I do behind the scene. I tell you this. I tell you this. I tell you. Oh my, bro, me, oh my, dear, oh my, bro, me, re. Ore. I tell you, oh my, bro, cool, it's over, buddy, oh my, je. Ah. Oh yeah, je. Ah. Yes, um, it it all did not start from me being a gospel drama minister. I started right from when I was in primary school. The mirror was my best friend, let me say, because I would always act. The mirror was my audience, it was um, my director and all. So I would act, I would be the daddy, the mommy, the daughter, the son, the everything. And I was just loving it. Then when I got to junior school, anytime we don't have teachers around coming, I would come out, make people laugh, just do very funny, funny drama. And, you know, people would just laugh and, you know, they would just, ah, do you please come out? Anytime there's nothing to do, they would just want me to talk and play and laugh. I was very playful, yeah. Okay, so, but then, with time, I got to understand that there's something called drama ministry, and it's not just the fun part, but the laughing part, or the um, play part, because that was what I started with. It was just play, 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 and all of that. Okay, so, with time, I got to understand that it's a tool for the end time. It's a tool for souls to be saved and that that actually got me going and when i went to mount zion faith um, institute you know that just blew it up and i made a decision in my heart that this was it i'm not going to do any other thing with um with, dra with the gifts that god has given me than to use it to you know win souls to god and to go out there to you know drama what drama does is powerful yeah i know you agree with me because uh, with time, I got to understand that it, there's a way it sticks to your heart and your spirit so well that it's um, beyond what you can even imagine. Somebody can narrate to you the movie or she watched um, like, like three or four years ago, 
and I've watched movies severally and you know, same movie and I'll be crying and you know, I'll be blessed and I will see there was, there was a particular movie I watched and I um, I saw, I saw it was two different message at two different times. I'm like, I watched this thing not quite long and how come I'm seeing something different? That's the power in movies and Christian movies specifically. So I am giving it my all. I'm giving it my best as long as God will help me. Drama ministry, gospel drama ministry, that's all I am for. Thank you. Our mother was a prostitute. But then, that was before. She's a new creature. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Flora. Okay, let me start by saying that um, when I went for Mount Zion Institute, um, refresher class after the uh, major training, CP and ACP, which was the, um, like the first and second stage of training. So there was another one called refresher. So we went there and I was in the Tecmo night. They divided, divided us into groups and there was that divided one of our daddies in the ministry. He was the one leading and he told, okay, we're supposed to, we had 24 hours to prepare. Yeah, to prepare for the movie, and they told they were looking for someone who was going to act um um the Akewe or Ba something like that, you know. It, after a king has gone, another king was supposed to come into the throne, depicting the story of Solomon when he, when his son had to take over, and I'm like, wow, can I? And one of the mummies there encouraged me. I tell her, I can't do it. I'm like, no, I can't. Like, you can't do it. Okay, so I took up the challenge and she told me. And it was wow. Like, I I had sleepless my night because I was always waking up in the night to say, okay, am I really doing this? And yes, um, let me say, God helped me and I was able to um, do that. You know, I was, um, <laughs> some days ago, I was try trying to remember some of those lines and, you know, it was quite funny. But even the attire, everything was very good. That's one. Then, Another, uh, let me talk about the challenging um, movies that I've acted in. Um, one Street, One Sound. One Street, One Sound was okay, okay. was boom, oh, was very, this. very... What? From the script, the, the first yeah, time I, I um, came across the script, I read it twice. It was a very long script, but I read it twice. I'm like, no, this is a it. Like, I know it was going to go very far. So I told the producer... Um, Adiola, Jerry, Oluagbe, me, like, oh, okay, this is beautiful. And he said, you are going to be acting one of the roles, like, what role do you think you're going to be acting? Ah, I just looked at everything. Ah, I'm not, I can't see anyone that I can act here. That's okay. Let me choose. Um, okay, I'll be acting Jadel. And he said, No, Jola, you're acting Jumi. And my expression just changed. Like, oh, okay, like, am I going to be acting? Are you, are you, like, are you joking? He said, No, Jola. Ah, I, you know, I just kept on thinking, like, how it was a very, very sensitive role. If you have not watched it, you should. It was a very, very sensitive role, and um, I just trusted God. And I also, held, I, I didn't trust in myself. No, there, there was no how. There was no how. I just trusted on the fact that, okay, this brother prayed <laughs> before he called me. Let's assume that, okay, it was God that said, okay, them talk to I just held on to something, because I couldn't hold on to anything that has to do with me. I could not even see myself in the role. Even days to the location, I couldn't. I couldn't. The role was very sensitive. It was like I was going for a battlefield. That's the way it felt. We had time to prepare spiritually, but then I still had this feeling that, dear Allah, really, can you do this? Okay. Okay, let's 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 have it. And um it was quite good and um yes and the other challenging part of it was that we're supposed to speak Yoruba, English and Yoruba. You know, once you are done with your lines in English, you have to switch and say Yoruba and it was the um it was lengthy, it was lengthy, but it was powerful. So um it was an awesome time for me, despite the challenges, but I actually like challenges in movies, in movies specifically. I like it when I'm going to think outside the box, going to be outside my kind of person. I'm going to have to read and pray more. Those kind of things um, usually make me feel very glad. And when it is village, anything village, and I'm always very excited. That, okay, we are leaving the norm and we are going to wear, you know, all these um, local attire, we're going to carry pots, we're going to walk barefooted. I'm just always very excited. Um, and that's something like a vocabulary to it was a nice time for me. Okay, so basically that has been my experience on set. Obama Soro!
Gbogbo ilu mo nsoro lo se daro eni re to lo Akon ni oje Akon ni oje Akon ni oje o Oba kin awa ilu mo nsoro amoriri re Oba kin oba mo nsoro Then I can't remember the menu <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I played the role of Adekweju Jr. in the movie The Train. Um, that's another very beautiful movie, very loaded. And um, let me start from when I got the call and the script. Ah, well, I knew that we were going to speak Yoruba. Yeah, fine. But then I didn't know we were going to go deep, deep down into um, Jessa and, you know, speak to speak all of that. I didn't know. Sincerely, I didn't know. Okay, so we got the location. I was excited because it was a Yoruba. You know, we are going to the village, those kind of things. So I was very glad. But when I got there and some people, I was laughing almost throughout when the younger um, Ayoba, um, Abayomi and others were speaking. It was a very nice experience for me. And when it was my turn, I was, you know, they were trying to analyze the time, the age, like, okay, Junior, Adepeju, how old was she then? And, oh, okay, okay, that means she, uh, she's still in the village, and I was supposed to speak, as I was hearing it behind, you know, they were talking about, it. I said, okay, is that me? Are they talking about me? Am I going to speak? And um, Adela was there, Adela Jerry, it was like, Adela, I think you're going to speak. It's, I'm like, oh, no, how? Like, uh, okay, but that starts, you know. So it was, it was a very, very, then um, I said I love challenges, so, but then it was a very close, I didn't have time, unlike the other time I had the time to do Riaza in front of the mirror as usual, but this one, there's nothing, you just, you know, just go and do, but I had mommies there that tutored me um, on how to speak it and to speak it the way that it should sound, you know, so that was a very challenging one for me, but I loved it, I loved it, and um, the scene um, that I, I, there's a particular scene when I was going to um, the to the teacher training college. Oh my God, that, that scene was, and I do like, you can't do this. But you know, anytime I say it, they say, ah, there's one, there's, you're not, you're missing a particular, there's a way it will sound. I'm like, okay, how do I do it? You know, that was a very challenging scene, that me, particular me, scene. Teacher training college, me okay with you. Ola ni mo de ni lo. Ha. Wo, abayo mi. Moti bai ya ele ni soro. But then Mose they were do very, do very da, loving. Da. The, the directors, the cast, everybody. I I had a beautiful time, even though I didn't stay so long on set. But the few days I was on, on, on ground um, in the location, it was a very awesome time. And I loved the movie. I loved, I loved the fact that it was daddy's um, life story. I was willing to be a part of it 100%. So... I was glad to be there, and that was my first time in Elisha, if I'm right, yes, Elisha was my first time, so I had a beautiful experience, and um, yeah, it was a nice one. My advice for the upcoming drama ministers or those that are willing and they have passion or they know that or they feel that they have a call into drama ministry i would say that you should um develop yourself when be patient and be faithful be faithful in the sense that even when you don't have this god that gives opportunities it is god that has given you the gift is the one that will create opportunity for you to you to, to um, utilize it and make its glory known because that's the very important thing so you're in your work with god you begin to understand timing and when to launch out but then the patience i'm talking about doesn't mean that you um you should sit back and do nothing but in that place that god has placed you in your church in your school you can do something you can remember i, I talked about when i was in junior school i think just 2 
when when um, teachers are not coming or we are on break, I will come out and laugh, play, make people laugh, and that was it. I wish I um, I knew better or I known the right thing to do. You know, I would have utilized that opportunity to preach or say something nice, but I would just come play. Everybody will laugh and say, "Hey, look at you!" and all of that. So where you are now, no matter your age and um, position, you can do something make the gospel known, preach the good news, true drama, because indeed it's a tool. And um, with you understanding all of this, God will bring greater opportunities your way so that people can see God's grace and gifts in your life and you can make him proud by showing forth his glory. Okay, so um, basically what I believe that God has commissioned or committed into my hands to do is to reach out to teenagers. To teenagers. I have had this passion and burden for a very long time and I've been looking around and praying as to how to start. And um, one way or the other, I started in 20... 17, end of 2017 to 2018 and um, although before then I would just be around teenagers, hear them, talk to them, it's been what I love to do. So then it, it was coming stronger, so how do I make this um, better, how do I reach out to more teenagers and to hear them. So um, this world show started 2018 so to say and um, in my notes let me say that it started with reaching out to teenagers like an outreach format but then um when i heard of mon zion um tv he gave me an idea as to coming up with a show that's oh, okay if we have christian platforms like um mz tv and other tv stations then we can have something that the teenagers can specifically watch that is it's for them it is um planned and prepared for them Okay, so that started, and with time, we moved right into the outreach. So that was where the name Teens World Outreach came from. So it's like an umbrella name that covers the show, because the show was just opportune to come first. It was more of an outreach idea. So what we do is go to schools, teens, churches, to talk to people about um, Jesus, about keeping themselves pure, sexual purity, because I'm, I'm an ambassador in that field as well. Um, thanks to our daddy PVO. Okay, so he has been helping, he has given us opportunities. So he also gave me an opportunity in Spa Radio to talk about things. So that's where we have Things Are Life, where we discuss with the teenagers and those around them to benefit and to know what the things need at every point in time and be able to be of benefit to them. So basically that's some of, some of the things that God has placed in my hands to do. Oh Jesus, I have promised to serve thee till the end. Be thou forever near me, my master and my friend. I shall not Feed the battle if thou art by my side. No wonder from the pathway if thou will be my guide. Oh, let me hear this speaking in our sense, Clarence, too. Above the storms of passion, the murmurs of self-will. Oh, speak to reassure me, to hasten our control. Oh, speak and make me listen, thou guardian of my soul. All right. Wow. What a wonderful story we have there. Mm. God will keep blessing our drama ministers. God will keep blessing our gospel movie makers 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Very fantastic story we have there. Thank you very much for coming around today again to see Beyond Entertainment Show with PBO. I will be coming your way again at another time with a brand new episode. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to click on that notification bell after you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Victor Nukoji PBO is the name of the YouTube channel. Please, I want you to recommend it to everyone. Of course, there are great movies in this YouTube channel. There are fantastic shows. A lot of things that can help your life that can also entertain you. Thank you very much. See you again next time. Modern entertainment Beyond the applause of men we seek for something valuable And that is the soul of man yeah. And that is the soul of man Man and women So that for God And this is beyond and today Beyond that. So keep watching Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. With PVO.